वाइब कोडिंग एंड एजेंट फोर्स एवरी वन इज टॉकिंग अबाउट इट बट नो वन रियली नोज हाउ टू यूज इट और इवन गेट स्टार्ट Well I know what I'm talking about today. It is the newly launched Agent Force Vibes which has got us all excited to develop without writing code. I'm here to help you out and answer all your hows one by one. So let's get started. Hello everyone, I'm Shreya Sharma, your Salesforce hub. Agent Force Vibes is new. It is revolutionary and it is going to change the course of your Salesforce career. So obviously you should know everything about it. And the first question that you must have is how to set up this latest coding ninja so that you can start exploring its capabilities. Well, I'm going to show you how you can set up Agent Force Vibes to get started with your pair programming. So without wasting any time, let's dive right in. First of all, you need to install the Salesforce extension. Make sure to install the extended expanded version because in this you'll get all the related extensions itself. Once done, just create a project and save it on your system. Select an org now and you'll need to authorize the agent force vibes to use your selected org and make sure agent for developers is enabled. Go to setup you'll find agent force for developers here. Keep the toggle off here so that it is disabled while the org is connected to IDD. Go back to VS code then check your Salesforce CLI version. Enter terminal and here you should have the updated Salesforce version. So just run the command sf update from here you can get to know what version you are on make sure it should be above version 2.103.7 or higher now we need to add the agentic chart configuration with the control field and go to open user settings to make sure your agentic debugging log in the chat is enabled now you just have to copy this particular code and paste it inside your open user settings I'll share this code with you in the description. And once all these things are done, go to your Agent Force Vibes panel. By default, the panel will be in plan mode. Keep it in the act mode and enable your MCP server. And the setup is complete. You can now start using Agent Force Vibes. Let me show you an example here. I'm adding a prompt to build a lightning web component that implements a generic data table. using a modular child parent architecture simply type your detailed prompt in the chat like i'm doing it here and soon enough you'll get these results as you can see it has generated the component perfectly and all i had to do was talk to it in natural language so that is how easy it is to set up and use agent force vibes i'll be covering all the use cases of the same in depth pretty soon so if you have any suggestions please let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a like and share it with someone who might need it and subscribe to stay tuned for more thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one